My name is Melanie. Well, my name's Phil Schwartz, um, and uh, I have a 20-year-old son. I have two sons, one who is 15 years old and has Asperger's. I am the mother of two boys who have been diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. The preschool that she went to said, there, we really don't know how to handle her. Do you mind if we get outside help? And I said, no, that would be lovely. Please tell me more. He would always play by himself. He wasn't really interacting with the other kids. I'm Michelle. My name is Frank Medlar. I'm the proud parent of two children, one who's 22 and one who's 12. And my 12-year-old is on the autism spectrum. I have a daughter who's now eight. Uh, who has Asperger's. My older son, who's eight years old now, was diagnosed when he was two years, seven months. I was actually feeling like a sense of freedom because I knew what it was, I knew there was help, and I knew there were interventions. The diagnosis helped her say, oh, well, you know, everyone's brain is different, and this is the way your brain works. I've always been sort of a person that preferred to be by myself anyway, so I thought, well, the apple doesn't fall very far from the tree. It was the things that were just behaviorally different that really struck out. He would crawl to toys and instead of playing with them, he would take them apart. He was diagnosed when he was seven. He was in the second grade. Well, for the first three months of her life, when she wasn't asleep, she was crying. Um, it, for my older son, it was the fact that he was obsessed with letters. He also enjoyed very much uh, going through numbers with me. His was dinosaurs. They do what all other kids do. It's the degree to which they do it. They're, they're very bright, they're very funny, they're wonderful people. He's got a great sense of humor. One of the things that helped me a lot is to not think about what I wish things were, but instead to concentrate on what is and the good things about what is. It's just part of who you are and it's the way that you were made. Our children are constantly bombarded by negative images of themselves, negative self-perceptions. You can't, you don't, you shouldn't, you aren't. We celebrate the trying. We don't celebrate the success only, we celebrate the trying. One thing I'm most proud of as a parent is advocating for Christopher. When people tell you that things are okay and they know best, you know your child. One of the most important things for Tim's development and for me as his parent has been to develop a support network. Start by developing relationships around things that you have in common with other people that you want to share with them. And that community is really an important part of being able to cope with everything that you have to cope with. I just think the fact that they get through every day Having to deal with a world that doesn't function the same way they do, to me that's a huge accomplishment. They are fascinating and wonderful creatures, even though every day I feel like I'm learning a new language.